what's up guys welcome back like what a moment they decide to drop a panelist i kind of expected one yesterday at least it's, it's saturday morning my time but um like last time they dropped it at like 6 p.m uh, at least my time and um nope 6 p.m not yesterday but decided to drop it like 3 a.m in the in the morning so night my time so it's like nine o'clock now um let's see i already saw a couple of things a couple of changes but I saw it was a huge list, didn't see um, most hits, so let's take a look, right? Yep, the ban list indeed got updated January 25, so let's take a look. Um, the first one here, Fairy Tale Snow, um, well, like, a bit too late, I guess, should have been banned earlier or... or much sooner you know with grass looks greener etc but now with thunder dragons and seem to be too powerful so finally they banned snow although it feels a little bit too late but how do you say it like better late than never <laughs> next one grinder golem <laughs> man link format i remember it very well splashing it and basically everything to you know a special summon like a double firewall dragon it was something back again in Danger FDK shenanigans a couple of months ago, but they finally decide to hit Grinder Golem. Good, right? Slash Ra FDK. And with dangerous, one grinder column can do so many things, it's it's just flat out ridiculous. So, a good hits, two good hits already. That's it for the monsters? Yeah, basically. I see a new link monster, yep. <laughs> That's indeed Gumlar. Gumlar should have been hit earlier, again on the previous list, two months ago I guess, but... Yeah, it, again, better late than never. Hitting Gumlar, hitting Dark Warrior, danger as well. Far too powerful, not let your opponent play. The Lincoln Tua is banned, so why is Gumlar? Or why was Gumlar still legal? Potentially hitting like five or six cards from your opponent's hand. It, again, it doesn't make sense. Uh, unless they want the remote links, but still unhealthy gameplay. So them hitting Gumlar, a good move. Three good hits already, I like that. Uh, to uh, exceeds okay interesting let's see the first one galaxy tomahawk oh, oh oh okay okay that's one i haven't seen yet but a good hit link format galaxy tomahawk with dangers for example already has been proven that well you can just special summon so many things vomit your entire extra deck to the field establish some nice locks or whatever but yeah, the Galaxy Tomahawk is definitely, a, well, at least was definitely on my list of prediction cards that would get hit, but um, did not expect them to, you know, have the balls to actually hit Galaxy Tomahawk. But again, a good hit. I like this, uh, definitely. The next one is also something we have expected, number 86. Um, the, you know, the Rongo Mi Nai, you know which one I mean, right? The, if I summon this, uh, your opponent cannot play Yu-Gi-Oh! Again, a good hit. Um, just basically hitting Dark Warriors, I guess, next to uh, Topologic Gumlar Dragon. So, like, five hits already? Yeah, indeed, five hits. And five good hits. Very, very solid work, Konami. <laughs> Unbelievable. Five good hits. Man, it has been a long time. A spell is also banned. Probably Soul Charge. Yep, indeed. F like, <laughs> they, it took them ages, it took them ages, Soul Charge finally getting the X, good riddance, should have been, uh, this should have happened much sooner, but again, better late than never, Soul Charge always has been a problem, like, right, every tech profile I make, from people at YCS is they reveal Soul Charge and they say, man, this, this card should be banned, this card is a problem, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. So that's pretty much it for the ban section. Okay, very, very interesting. Let's uh, move further for the limited section. The first one here is Chaos Emperor. Yeah, of course, it should have gotten the Errata, right? Here in a TCG as well, two months ago. I expected it to be, you know, be uh, released two months ago, but they decided to do it now. But uh, at one, I believe, Emperor, at, uh, at least in the OCG, is at three so it's it's not really doing anything there and sadly we don't have the well you know the the, the our stone and jump price card is uh, you know the, the the expensive emperor card and for like chaos emperor or chaos oriented light sworn deck you need that but uh, in the ocg it's not doing anything so one emperor i guess it's fine can spicy up our format uh, next one Ooh, cyberstein Ooh, this is interesting i mean cyberstein is also legal in the ocg i guess but it's not seeing any play over there i think or if i remember correctly the last time 
we saw Cyberstein playing, uh, at least being played competitively in the OCG Ross in Metal Foes. Unless I'm mistaken, like normal summon or, you know, um, a pendulum summon your Stein, use the effect to pay 5k, hope your opponent does not have something like effect failure or breakthrough skill, right? Go for uh, any good fusion, let's say Dark Warrior from another planet or the Naturia one, you know, negate everything and then pop your face up Cyberstein with your Metaphose effects to uh, well, make sure that you don't have a weak monster in attack position. So Cyberstein back to one against something that, that I haven't expected, didn't see coming, but um, interesting. It's it's probably not, not going to see any competitive play, but um, you know, they're, they're always at least there's always going to be that one guy uh, playing it at locals or regionals. So Cyberstein deck, that's interesting. Dark Raffer, well, yeah. Basically following the Armageddon Knight route, right? And in the OCG, they still have everything at full force. Triple Armageddon Knight, triple Graffer, triple Malicious. But now with Armageddon Knight at one, and of course, Dark Raffer uh, at one as, as, as well, like dangers have become far too powerful, uh, abusing Dark Raffer as well. It's basically hit them hitting Dark Warrior engine, I guess. So both Armageddon Knight and Dark Raffer, the Dark Warrior engine being severely hit is, is quite huge, right? A huge impact on the current format. But for now, still no Sky Strikers, uh, Thunder Dragons, no hits, bar Fairy Tail Snow, I guess. Alter guys not being hit. Uh, let's see. Um, was forbidden. Sure it. Well, <laughs> it took them ages, I guess. Sure it currently is at three in the OCG, and finally Necro's getting back. Sure it. Well, we are getting you know the new incantation, so finally we can use Sure it as well here in the TCG with the. Uh, with a new incantation, the new incantation ritual and ritual monsters. So uh, this is good, actually a very, very solid list for now, at least for these hits. Then we see a fusion and uh, yeah, yeah, I think we know what it is. Yeah, construct. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> oh my god, Construct coming back off of the list, fantastic. Um, it's probably not going to have a huge impact on our format since, if I'm not mistaken, Construct is at, is allowed at multiple copies in the OCG, but it's not seeing any play bar, of course, the potential Cytec engine of, uh, you know, the regular Shuttle Fusion. And um, so I'm not really sure. Construct back at one, it's probably going to get back to three eventually. So, uh, but yeah, one Construct, finally we can try out like a small Shadal engine, and that's at least what I'm going to try out. Splashing in Shadal Fusion or a small Shadal engine index featuring Construct as well. So finally, spicing things up again. Until now, a solid list. Uh, limited spells, a brilliant fusion. Yeah, this, like at every ban list prediction, people always say, including myself, brilliant fusion should get hit. Or Seraphinite should get banned. Now with the Gem Knight FTK is an example. Thunder Dragons as well. So the, the second indirect hit to Thunder Dragons here. A brilliant Fusion to one. So now probably it's not really worth it to play a Brilliant Fusion. And that the Brick Garnet alike card. Then again you can search it with your Predaplant engine. But like it's not like the, the, the best engine right. For the uh, vulnerable to hand traps. Not more spells, man. This is a huge list. Uh, Gold sarcophagus, finally, like a direct hit to Thunder Dragons. Good hit, same I guess in the OCG. Uh, Gold Sark was just too powerful, featuring Thunder Dragons. This is an interesting run, Magical Midbreaker Field. Uh, this is something that I haven't seen coming, at least you know against hand traps or something. But uh, it's strange, uh, unless I'm I, I, I'm missing something, right? It, it's it's not those at least from from every ban list prediction I saw, this card wasn't on there, and, and, and including my one. So interesting hit against something that I haven't seen coming. Uh, the next one was semi limited scapegoat. Okay, yeah, eventually, right? Scapegoat just far too powerful. Tricksters isn't really, isn't really that. Well, it's not that popular currently, um, but still, Scapegoat is, is a very powerful card, can be splashed into basically any deck, and then Enfei Scapegoat is super devastating. The next one, Slash Draw, was, um, <laughs> Slash Draw to one, <laughs> the, the gimmick, <laughs> guys, please, Slash Draw to one, okay, it's, it's then basically, well, yeah, f finishing 
or hitting the slash draw FDK. So featuring dangers, then not hitting dangers, but directly hitting the, the, the FDK, I guess, being slash draw. So that's it for cards getting hit to one. Let's see if there are cards going back to two or back to three. Um, yeah, back to three uh, in sector. Yeah, in sector. Finally, they are following the old CG list, man. Like, Hornet back to three. Brionek, Necros, or Brionek immediately back to three. Oh, yes, this is delicious. I'm going to try out Necros again. One sure at triple Brionek. Excite and back to three. Doesn't matter. Kaiju Slumber. The Monarch Stormfort. Oh, oh this is delicious. Oh my god. <laughs> Fantastic. Although Aether is still at one, Pantheism is still at one, but Monarch Stormfort. Oh, this is something that I haven't seen yet. Oh man, this is fantastic. But again, one of Aether. And uh, yeah, one of Pantheism still, but oh, this is this is this is cool. Okay, this is nice. Fi good list, good list. Eradicator. Oh, possibly well, dangers can possibly use it or any dark engine deck. Eradicator virus. Um, so yeah, no hits with Sky Strikers, I guess. But, but yeah, maybe a small hit to hit uh, in in their consistency. But uh, Infernity Barrier back to three. Wind Up Magician back to three. Hyper Librarian back to three. And Limited Removal as well. Okay, I guess it's fine. But uh, Barrier back to three is interesting for well Infernity alike decks, I guess. If it's still a thing, Eradicator is an interesting one. Could be um, a huge side deck card. But outside of that, Necros might see some play again, but probably not. Still a little bit too weak, I guess. Um, okay, guys, I'm excited. This is a huge, huge, huge list. Um, but yeah, good luck at YCS Chicago for you very soon. And uh, our next YCS will be Dusseldorf in like a month. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave me signing out. Peace.